Hello, everyone, and welcome. Today is May 1st, 2023, and you know what that means. That means I have a Studio Calico unboxing. Okay, you guys, as always, I have some add-on stamp sets and the subscription kits to share with you, and I also do have a process video. And as always, I have so much to share, so I'm not going to be talking too much. We're just going to get right into it. We're gonna start with the add-on stamp sets and then I'll share the kits with you. Okay, so let's start with our three by four monthly stamp. These are the little three by fours that you can kind of collect and use throughout the year. Each stamp is a different month and obviously this one's May. So you have the take five, self-care, me time. And then I love those little icons. There's um, a journal, a little cup, coffee cup, sun. I think that's a little moon. I can't even tell. Um, it's a really cute little uh, three by four stamp. Now this next stamp uh, has the cutest little Polaroid, which I love Polaroid stamps. I don't know what it is. And then you can fill out that Polaroid with some words or add a little photo and then stamp your word um, on the border of the Polaroid. It's so cute. A little buildable house stamp, always fun to use. I actually took some photos of my house recently so this would be a really cute stamp set to use to document those photos. I love the home sweet home. You have home is where the heart is. I actually have that on one of my chalkboards in my home. Uh, this next one is another buildable stamp set. And you can kind of create little labels. And then you also have some circles. You have today, hello. Really cute and basic. And you guys know I love my basic stamps. This is a favorite stamp. I think this one's my favorite from the whole release. This Mother's Day stamp set designed by In a Creative Bubble is simply gorgeous. I love it so, so much. I'm hoping to use this stamp set and probably share it in the gallery. So if you want to see my layout, definitely go take a look at the gallery on Studio Calico's website. But you can stamp the M and then the bear with the O and then create mom. So, so cute. The Happy Mother's Day, Mother's Know Best, Love You Forever is such a cute stamp set. If you celebrate Mother's Day, I think we all do, and you want to send some really cute cards, then this is the perfect stamp for you. Next up is an alpha stamp, which, as you guys know, I love alpha stamps. And this one is so cute. I'm so excited for it. I'm going to try really hard to use the stamp set. Um, I'm just so excited for it. It's so fun and different than what Studio Calico usually releases. So that's a fun alpha stamp. Anyways, those are the add-on stamp sets. Let's take a look at the kits. Okay, let's start with the subscription stamp set. And it's a fun adventure stamp set. I love that adventure. And then you have, and so the adventure begins. We are here weekend. So you can kind of check the weekend or weekday, wild and free. You can create some labels here. Love that little border. I would use it for a photo. Really, really good and cute subscription stamp set. Um, now let's take a look at the documenter kit. Okay, let's take a look at the documenter kit. You get the May stickers and they are adorable. I love the muted colors. You get these really cute puffy stickers. Um, my favorite at this point are the alphas, the die cut alphas. So good. I didn't pull all of them out, but I think you get three of each letter, which is pretty cool. I might be mistaken, but that's what I counted, three per letter, which is a great little pack because, you know, you can create a bunch of different words with those die cut alphas. You get some washi tape. This washi tape is the same design on the Traveler's Notebook. And I love the muted colors. So pretty, it's such a pretty pattern. And then you get some tags as well. Love the size, love that they're grid. You have some like white grid. I don't know, like grayish grid. It's just so good. And you get a few of each. The stamp set, very basic and simple. You have that little box and then you can add the little 
um, sentiments in there. You have some lines as well and the labels. I'm not gonna lie, the labels aren't my favorite. I don't like labels that have a pattern inside, only if it's grid, like really, really light grid. But I might be able to use it. You know me, I always kind of think outside the box and figure out ways to use things that aren't my favorite, but um, they're okay. They're not my favorite, <laughs> basically. But anyways, let's move on. Let's take a look at the cards. And the cards are really, really fun this month. Also good. I have some favorites. Love this adventure card. Love this as well. That one's so, so good. This one's a fun one. Love the go. I really like the away we go as well. And this one is so fun. Really, really good um, cards this month. I'm excited for it. It's kind of like a mix of I don't know, travel with, um, it's just so mellow. And I love that. You guys know how much I love like mellow colors, <laughs> but I also do love this one as well. Anyways, I'm going to put this aside and then I'm going to grab the Traveler's Notebook and we're going to take a look at the Traveler's Notebook. Okay, so let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook kit. Um, the washi tape is so good. I love this type of washi where it's so simple and basic. You can use it on everything and anything. So I really, well, let me keep this open. Um, but anyways, I really like that lined notebook style washi. You get some die cuts, and these are so cute. I believe you get two of each. So these are really fun. And they match the cards, so I'm sure they'll match the traveler's notebook. There's that go. I really like that go. Enjoy the journey. So good. You do get those puffy stickers again. And you do get the labels. So I now I have four of those labels. So I definitely have to figure out how to use them. And I always say this. Um, sometimes your kits come with things that you don't really enjoy. And that's okay. For me, it's like if one thing I don't really like or two things that I don't really like from my embellishments, it's not going to kill me. I don't feel like, oh, I wasted my money. Not really because I feel like the rest of the stuff kind of covers um the not liking the labels if that makes sense so if i don't end up using them i'm okay i'll put them in a giveaway pile or something not a big deal but i will still try to use them but now that i have four i might give two away we shall see anyways you get the three by four stamp set and i'm really liking this i love that it has that discover and explore from the three by four card from the documenter kit so this is going to be fun to use. You also get those alphas. Again, another pack, which is so much fun. Now I have double the amount and I can definitely use it for big words. And let's take a look at the Traveler's Notebook. Okay, I have some favorites. Love that one. The school's out. Love that ombre. That's a fun one. Really like this one very, very much. And I have a feeling I'm going to be using this one today because I do have photos 
of my daughter uh, going to Nashville. So I do want to uh, document those. So I might use that one. Love this. So fun. And there was another one back here that I really like. Yeah, the Go. So there's some really good patterns in here. That's so adorable. And I am excited. These are really, really fun. Some really good ones here. Anyways, that is the Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to work in the Traveler's Notebook today. And so let's see which pattern I end up using and what I'm going to be documenting. So if you want to see me use my Traveler's Notebook kit today, just keep watching. Okay, let's start working in my Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to remove the staples and take my Traveler's Notebook apart because as you know, I have been trimming them down and adding them to discs to create a disc-bound Traveler's Notebook. Really simple, I basically remove the staples, go through the Traveler's Notebook, cut them down, all that good stuff. I do have a video sharing how I do this. Anyways, I decided to go with the Away We Go, and I'm gonna be documenting Sabine's trip to Nashville. Now, because I'm using this pattern, I thought those alpha die cuts would be perfect to complete the title. It's gonna end up saying Away We Go Nashville. So I'm gonna use the die cuts to spell out Nashville. And because I knew the die cuts were pretty big, I did measure them before I printed my photos. And I made sure that my photos would fit in between the edge of the layout and my large title. But anyways, I just went through my die cut alphas and grabbed the alphas that I need to spell out Nashville. Now I'm just playing with my photo setting. I really don't know why because I don't like how that looks and I will put them back as they were. But for now, I'm just gonna go through these alphas and add Nashville. I do change my mind a few times on the colors. I'm trying to balance out all the colors as I go and you'll see me go back and forth a few times and switch out some of those letters for different colors. But anyways, I just want to spell out Nashville and I already love how it looks. It's so bold. It's perfect. It fits really well with the Away We Go title. So I just am so happy with this decision. I think uh, the layout turns out pretty cool with this large title. As you can see, I switched out some of the letters, but now I'm good. I feel like they look good and the colors fit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick down my alphas to create my title. Now that I have my title stuck down, I want to work on my photos. I'm thinking to use some of the die cuts from this pack just to add a little something in between my photos and to break them down. I didn't have enough photos to fill out that column. So I'm just going through the die cuts and I grabbed a few of those really cute die cuts and I'm just gonna use them to add a little something in that column. I do play around with it a little bit until I get it right but I like those two die cuts. They fill in that column really well. So I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna start sticking down my photos and the die cuts and create a fun little column for my layout. While I was sticking down my photos, I decided to remove that die cut. I think it said, this is the journey or something like that. And I thought it would be fun to add some staples just to add some texture to my column. And it worked out perfectly. Once I add my staples, I'll just stick it back down. And then I want to work on the opposite side of my spread. I wanna use the stamp set to add some fun words next to my title. 
And while I was stamping my little words, I thought it would be fun to also add some of those puffy stickers from the kit. You'll see at some point, I'm going to stamp another sentiment and then I decide, wait, I can use those puffy stickers to add some more texture and it worked out perfectly. I really love how it turned out. It's a great place for me to add my journaling. Obviously, I was not on the trip, so I don't know details of the trip, but I do know what they did. So I just go ahead and add my own journaling and I will print it on sticker paper and add it right above the stamping next to my title and call my layout done. I really love how the spread turned out. It's so simple. Those die cut alphas were the perfect little add-on for my title and they brought in a lot of boldness and color to my spread. Anyways, you guys, don't forget today's release day at Studio Calico. I will be adding all the links and everything I used and shared down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.